as you said, um, Q4 was uh, the best ever uh, in terms of uh, net profit, uh, in terms of uh, uh, business origination. Uh, everything was uh, really nice. Uh, we decided to give the guidance for 2023 with a net profit uh, in the round of 100 million. That is already quite the result, because don't forget that we, this bank started four years ago, and from scratch we created a 6 billion bank, uh, very profitable, close to 10% ROE. And we decided to be more prudent because uh, those targets were set uh, uh, two years ago, before Ukraine, before everything, before inflation, before all the troubles we had. Uh, and at the same time, uh, since we are investing a lot in new ventures, so we simply decided to postpone one year uh, last year in 2022, the, the launch of uh, uh, these three uh, ventures. So they will start working very properly this year. And so we have this little delay in terms of results in the next year. It's a matter of prudence, uh, given the uncertainties. But uh, again, we are very proud about, about uh, what the limit is doing. You have, um, I mean, our viewers have been looking while you've been speaking, uh, Corrado, at um, some, some uh, tough comparisons of your shares over um, well, a recent period as well, should we say. They, they, they've been challenged, should we say, somewhat. Is this sector going to be challenged dramatically by higher interest rates or actually will that be offset by net interest margin expansion? The strongest effect uh, would probably the positive one, the one on net interest income, that's for sure. Uh, I, I, we should expect uh, an increase uh, in uh, non-performing loans. Let's not forget uh, that uh, on uh, the balance sheets uh, of the Italian banking system, there are about uh, 300 million worth of stage two uh, uh, positions. Um, that's to a certain extent also our business because uh, you know that we focused on uh, SME that are growing, but also on SMEs that need restructuring and on SME UTPs. Uh, uh, so uh, at the end, the effect of what is happening is certainly positive for the system and it certainly provides uh, a lot of growth opportunities for uh, very specialized technological banks like ours. So why the... Um... Why the sell-off, Corrado? I mean, that's the, that's the bit that we're trying to match up here. The fact that the market disliked the outlook so much that it sold down the stock so heavily in, in spite of a lot of the promising trends that you're describing here. Is it, is it the market doing its own analysis of how it thinks that SME client base is going to perform over the rest of the year? It's probably a combination of different things, uh, and uh, we must go and look uh, through the cycle. For sure, there are today banks that are putting a lot of money on uh, buybacks. We are not, because uh, uh, we want uh, to keep growing and to keep investing. Uh, on the other side, someone uh, might consider the uh, SME market uh, a, a riskier segment of the market, uh, 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 despite the fact that, that we have uh, uh, top of the of to top quality uh, uh, portfolio uh, quality, and uh, we are amongst pro we are probably the best in terms of uh, uh, NP ratio, in terms of uh, equity ratios. But you know, it's probably the combination of this short-term uh, view on other uh, banks that uh, uh, will put a lot of money, as I said, in terms of dividends and. Uh, by bags. And uh, for sure, uh, we decided uh, last year to postpone of one, by one year uh, our three tech initiatives. 